everyone to take the support. Um, run away again. Spent cruising. A night there. A couple of nights, one day. Um, we're off again. Today is the 20th of December. Five days ago to Christmas. Um, oh, and yeah. It's um, yeah, yesterday. Days. Uh, we did some logging. There's a lot of logs here. We chopped down trees. Oh, yeah, I picked up about four bags full. Storm bar out. I've been, I chopped them, but I picked my back out doing it. <laughs> and um, I've got a bit of a bad back from Ben and yeah. over getting them. <laughs> so I went down, oh god, like that. I can feel it right in my lower back. <laughs> and he cycled about six miles yeah. yesterday because my hip is still playing up. Cycled, uh, ran the car ahead and cycled back. Absolutely terrible. Um, Toe path, Will trying to <laughs> Will trying to film us, and we're not. And then his, his boat's going uh, all over the place. He's in front of us at the moment. We're still with narrow boat, Will. Yeah, really, really muddy it was, and really, really misty, like foggy. That's kind of cool. Then my mates called me, and they were in Ilford, Devon, and it oh, was it's beautiful sunshine. Beautiful now. sunshine, yeah. Got a cloud on the sky. Yeah, but today is it's not so foggy and misty today. Um, just one of those really overcast days, you know. I think Josh was hoping when are we this morning. The sun? You were hoping this morning it would be foggy. Yeah. Be a bit different. Cruising cool in the cruise, fog. Yeah. Um, today we're on our way to Fens Bank. It's five and a half miles. Um, past the Prees Branch, past Wixall Moor. Um, yeah, it should be a lovely cruise. Uh, we're gonna get some water in Bettersfield. We just fill up every every time we cruise we fill up now yeah. and then we're we're fine for water. But uh, we worked it out and now it should take six days, I think. Or yeah, six days to get to Audlem. Or and through the flight. So five days to get to Audlem, six days to get through the flight. Um, I think I calculated a bit wrong uh, when I did it last time. Um, but yeah, six days. 20th today, um, we're going to cruise today, which will be one day. Um, Wednesday. And then on the 22nd, we'll cruise again, which is two days. Because we're going away on the 23rd, we'll be back on the 27th. We'll probably cruise on the 27th, or maybe 28th. If we cruise on the 27th, it'll be um, 29th, which is four days. And then um, on the 31st, five days and then uh, January the 2nd so we should get there on time hopefully if we wait to the 28th <laughs> then we can get there one day before so, <laughs> so there's no wind and there's trees down and we'll be stuck anyway <laughs> there is a tree actually down on this way um, but we can get past it luckily um, dad is here but he's, when I do, did the intro he's gone and get some gloves <laughs> or socks Dad's, got any Dad's day off today, actually, as well. Yeah. Got, he, this is his hard shift. He does well, hard, hard, hard section. He does four, four, uh, two to tens, then a day off, and then another three, yeah. and then the next. Then he's got four days off, and then he works a day as two days off. So, like two weeks of it is really hard going. He was asleep all day yesterday, wasn't he, John? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He was asleep all day yesterday and probably all night. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the cruise then. Enjoy! I hope it doesn't rain. I feel like I think it's drizzling at the moment. Yeah, it's drizzling. <laughs> oh well. We've got to cruise wherever the weather comes. I've had a couple of people ask, why don't you show what you're seeing? That's because I do, but after we're done speaking, as you can see, we're starting off from our mooring, so you never miss out on any scenery. The 
There's a lot of branches, leaves and all sorts of crap that's been blown off these trees here. So we're just going to cut the prop as we go through, just to make sure we don't damage the prop or get anything caught on it. And now, funny enough, we're crossing back into Wales for a bit. Then we're coming to the small village of Battersfield, which is just about in Wales. These are a very weird design. You don't really see this often in the UK. It's very alpine-y. In a bit. What are you pointing at? Huh? Oh, oh you're right. <laughs> what, you're great. pranking we're us, not mate. Not tied on anymore. <laughs> well, he's pranking us. But there is a boat coming. Quite fast as well. Very fast. Let's hold on. Hi there. Hiya. Just as we're about to set yeah, off, this. a boat comes this time of year. Yeah, see how fast he was going? Yeah. Hold tight! Hold tight! Is it we wait for the wheel or are we going? Are we going on the wheel then? Or? Don't know, we have to come out now. We've gone go across the canal otherwise. Yeah, but, well, I wasn't expecting that. Reverse then, because you go fast! You'll be alright, you'll slip in front of us. Yeah, we stopped off some water at Bettersfield. <laughs> the world's curve is uh, one point. Um, yeah, got rid of the rubbish and we're ready to go again. More water again, we're not running out of water at the moment. Yeah. We'll be putting... The Brick Cruise has got one point, which is good. Take over, are they? Yeah, you're going to take over, Mum. Yeah. No, they weren't. They weren't. Bloody Crikey! Wait. I thought Will was pranking us. Yeah! <laughs> He was pointing and there was a boat coming through but it was flying through the bridge and we weren't even tied on, we were waiting to go off and it just bang! <laughs> they were nice enough and said hello! <laughs> they were going, yeah. Jesus They've Christ. gone! They're in front of wheel now. You don't see any boats raided and then you always see them we saw it at the corner, <laughs> when, when we're about to set off. Yeah. We take all our mooring lines off, bang. bang. Yeah. I don't think he's going on takeover though, past these boats. I do wonder what the insurance is on these houses that are below the canal. What if it breaches? Well, I really wish there was an off button for my mind, but unfortunately there's not. This appears to be one of our first victims of Storm Arwen. Is it me or is this boat design a bit ugly? I don't really like it. I 
Ah, oh, Windows XP, I miss you. Look at now, it will go. He's already around that corner like a Formula One driver. Looks like he has flourished well after Storm Arwen. The winter may be drab and boring and colourless, but you can see a lot more because there's no leaves in the way. When I see caravans like this by the canal, I always think of them as being like land canal boats. So this is the beginning of the mosses, and it's the third largest raised bog in Britain. Fawn Moors and Hatfield Chase near Doncaster and Yorkshire are the largest one. Peat began to form here in BC 8500 and had perhaps created in its fully formed dome by AD 500. Picture it as a giant blister which remained effectively unpunctured until peat extraction for use as fuel began in the 16th century. This began an ongoing process of drainage which caused the dome to gradually subside. Prior to that, the surface of the mosses would have been about 30 feet higher than they are now. The canal and the railway only sped this process up, which encouraged commercial peat cutting to increase. But luckily now the mosses are actually being protected and restored for international significance. Also, here is about where we go back in to England for the last time. Right, so we stopped for lunch just at the Prees Branch Junction um, and we've lost Will. Yeah. He's gone, he's gone down the Prees Arm. He's not done the Prees Arm when he came up, so I think he's yeah. doing it now. And so, Andy's, Andy's having a little cruise taken over from me. Yeah, swing bridge coming up in a minute. Um, yeah, well, he's gone down there because he hasn't done it. So. We're going to meet him at the morning later. As he decides to yeah, start. Yeah, we had lunch. Now we're on our way again. Yeah. Leads us back. Right, let's do the swing bridge. Yeah. And if you're wondering where Narabit Will has gone, he's gone down the Prees branch. And if you haven't watched our documentary on that, please go watch that. Wigsall Marina, which is at the end of the Prees branch, was once known as the Clay Hole, and they brought clay from there to line the Ellesmere Canal. The clay was used once again in the 1960s to patch up any holes in canals and breaches and leaks, and to also restore canals. This is a fairly flat landscape, making for a quite a boring cruise. Compared to the latter half of the Langoflin Canal, which is anything but that, it always reminds me of the Shroppy in some ways when it's really straight. But at least there's a few swing bridges to spice things up. I'm glad I don't have to do that towpath again for quite a while. There appears to be an abandoned farm on the off side of the canal. When I see abandoned buildings I get really curious about the history and why they're abandoned and what happened and who lived there and everything. But I just can't find anything about this online.
this thing was floating about in this section the first time we came up. It was over the other side of the canal and further back. I don't know what it's doing here now. This is where Mum gets distracted by the Skrills and almost grounds us. He's got his brother there to catch him. We always see these apple trees, there's so many apples below them just rotting away and wasting. It is quite frustrating. Depends on where you stand, but from some points it looks like you can't pass through because there's trees in the way, and at other points you've got plenty of room. But lucky enough, there is just about enough room. Alright, so um, I'm quite a bit, uh, quite away. The landscape is very drab and boring. Yeah. There's no light. It's horrible, really. It's drizzle. It's like really like damp in the air as well. It's not very nice for cruising, but you know we have to. We've got to. Nothing much to see off. really, but some squirrels farting not, around. It's not poor. Yeah. I was watching the squirrels and then he grabbed yeah. it all in. So that's, <laughs> that's exciting for the day. Um, we'll be all right. And we met a and the lift bridge. We met boat coming as always we see a couple of boats and then we always Which see him good, at bridges because he was a lone cruiser there's nowhere to moor from on the other side to get over yes. stupid so we um, opened it for him yeah, and shut him through and then we uh came to the bridge where the tree's down bridge 43 yeah as you're approaching yeah and he went through that as you're approaching, it looks like it's right over the canal, doesn't it, Josh? Yeah, it looks like you can't get through. Bad, wasn't it? No! It's pretty lucky you can. Um, I'm worried about if there's anything under the wall. Right. We're just going to moor up past the next bridge, I think. Uh, where I parked the car yesterday. Um, really quite chilly now. Yes! As you can see. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing a dad with his right. vape machine. Yeah, we're going to end it here. Um, Thank you all very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, yeah. Five more days. Ooh. Ow! You just got whipped. Just <laughs> got whipped with a bit of a tree. <laughs> Five more days till we get to Orlem. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, should be getting there from the second or the third, so cut it close. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you yeah. to all our, all our patrons. If you want to support us, you can 
do that by becoming a patron. How is that tree not falling? Make sure so, you subscribe because half of you aren't again. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything. And if you want to send us a single donation to help us out, uh, you can do that yeah. on our PayPal in the link, link in the description. Yeah. I think that's it. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. When we go through uh, Witch, uh, Witch and uh, Grace Hill. Yeah, we're right where Dad's working. Yeah, we're right where Dad's working. 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 Right where Dad's working